How's it going everybody? My name is Rhino Saw and welcome to Leah. I think I spelled it right. Leah, Leah. It's not spelling either, it's pronunciation. <laughs> anyway, great start to an episode, guys. That is how you start an episode. Anyway, welcome to Leah. Now, this is a game I found on Game Jolt and it's quite got quite an interesting story. It's an experimental horror adventure game. Experimental horror adventure game even. But the thing was, the project was cancelled because it was at a standstill for quite some time. Now, I thought I'd give it a go because from the comments, people were saying that this should get brought back. So I'm going to give this a go just to see if they were right about that. Let me just check the options. Oh, can't do that. Anyway, let's get right into it then, shall we? So a little disclaimer ahead, guys. It will be buggy because it was an unfinished game. But nevertheless, let's just see if it's a good game itself I don't want to see a game um, be unfinished if it was very good I like that style the border it's quite a unique look on it what's this say Leah we had to go out and pick up a few last minute things feel free to head upstairs to your room mum PS sorry the television isn't working mm. right one thing I will say the uh, sensitivity is quite high I'll say that now. Ugh, it's creepy. I don't like looking through windows. We've got a key. He's got a puzzle face or patch face. Okay, can't do it for that. Okay, <laughs> that was creepy. I generally don't like. Okay. Oh, that is creepy door noise. Okay, we've got upstairs, we've got downstairs. Downstairs is always good to check out, first of all. We've got another one of those paintings. So I'm guessing that could be the creator of the game, or it's just a random picture you plucked off the internet. I don't know. Oh, whoa, what was that, man? Paranoia is already setting in. What does this say? Don't open, please. Damn it, I was going to open it. <laughs> I'm a rebel. I don't listen to instructions. So, okay. What does that say? Leah's birthday on the 9th. Oh, clear doors. No thank you very much. No thank... I can't talk today, guys. I apologise. Oh, that is very, very... Creepy. Is that a head? Is that a head on the bed? Oh god, what is that a teddy? Teddy Not creepy at all. Oh flashlight, please. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Well yeah, it still does because it will still fall, wouldn't it? And it'll still crash. That's a very um, intriguing question. Oh, what's that? Remember this. Oh, I can't really say I do. I'll re preserve that just in case. Oh, newspaper. Teen dies after jump from I 90 bridge. Chamberlain. Hmm, could that perchance be Leia? Was that blood? I'm pretty sure that was blood. Yep, I'm not gonna have that on. It's a very Wait a minute. I'm. Co was that? No, that was definitely upstairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we're in the basement, guys. Oh, God. But yeah, it's got a very good atmosphere to it, it's very creepy. What? 
was that God damn it, do I have to go back up and get the teddy bear? Someone just broke into the house, god damn it, I'm stuck in the basement. Oh god. This isn't good. Alright, let's go over to the door. Oh Jesus. I'd rather go down there than back up there. Wait a minute. What's with the creepy music? Oh god, what's going to be at the bottom of the stairs? There's an eerie red light. Oh god. Oh! Okay. Hello. Wow, this is really... Psychological. <laughs> I never oh, music. Bird suicide in Jatinga, India. Bizarre phenomenon. Now, what was it that I read sometime that what happens when birds start committing suicide? I can't remember. Uh, late one autumn night, but uh, I might have a son of wings. The child is destroyed. Take the child and kill him. Leap down into the sea. Change. Leap down into the sea. Suicide. Change her into a great grey bird. Oh god, don't say that I'm going to get chased by a bird beast. That is going to be really creepy if so. Greet it in my name. Clocks it at five minutes to twelve. I'm pretty sure that on the clock it said five minutes to twelve. Oh god. That's not good at all. Birds are quite a creepy animal. I will say that. I mean, I've never really. It's so. I'm, I'm very paranoid of birds. Is that a tape recorder? It's December 3rd. It's not that radio. It's December 3rd. It's been months since Oliver yeah, passed. And I still can't help but feel like it was my fault. I had been so immersed in my studies that I neglected to attend any of my son's performances or even spend any time with him at all. I let my work become my life and some part of me feels like this is sort of a catalyst for my son's suicide. Not his son. My wife has certainly been under a lot of stress lately as well. But it feels like she was the only one who understood Oliver. I know that Katie's taking this all quite well and I just hope that Leah's too young to understand what's happened. Leah. Okay. So Leah Seems to be a young girl. So I wonder why the game is called Leah. Hmm. It's quite a question I'm asking myself right now. And that. Interesting. So the boy. I'm guessing that's him there. Because there's a load of pictures about him. Whoa. Okay, hello. Oliver went with me to the park today. I wish he would play with me more, but he only read. Read. Oliver never talks to me, and he only plays with his friends from the theatre. I can't wait until I'm older, and I can show him how many friends I have. Mum said that Oliver won't come home anymore. Mum is crying, and I don't know why. I hope I see him soon. Mum said that Oliver is in the new home in the sky. Maybe he's flying with the birds. Oliver visits me all the time now, and he always plays with me. Oliver is the best brother ever. Wait a minute. 
He visits you all the time? This has just turned creepy. This has just turned very creepy. Hi! Are you, are you Oliver's ghost? Don't be angry. Don't don't be angry. Please don't be angry. Oh god. <laughs> this isn't good guys. This is not good at all. Oh god. Alright. Leah has been calling more often than usual just to talk about random things. It was enjoyable at first, but now I can clearly tell that she is upset about something. She has been talking about family a lot, saying how important they are. She repeated s several times that Oliver did not want to be forgotten. That really stuck with me. During our conversation today, Leah brought up Oliver multiple times, asking me what he was like and then asking about his death. It was all quite strange because I don't see how she could still hold memories of him when I hardly remember him. This is the third day in a row that Leah has called. Today Leah told me that she, she can still see Oliver. She called and said that Oliver was here right then and he wanted to talk to me. I hung up because to be honest she was freaking me out. Later today though she called back and... I can't read that. As though none of that had ever happened. Acted. Acted as though none of that had ever happened. I think spending a few days with mum and dad will help her, and if it makes her stop calling me about over or our dead brother, I'm all for it. Leah has been missing for more than a week. Why did the door just shut? And all of the interest she had in Oliver and his suicide has me worried. I just don't want to lose my sister. Hi. Okay. Yeah, this has turned very, very creepy in a matter of minutes. Very, very creepy. Okay. I mean, this this has got a quite a good story. The graphics are quite good for the game. Uh, I would... oh! And that was a good little jump scare. I wasn't expecting that. Calm yourself, Ryan. Calm yourself. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, you didn't give me that time, fool. <sighs> Got me the first time, though. Oh. Flying chairs. Mm. But yeah, like I was saying, it's got quite a good atmosphere. It's quite chilling. Quite creepy. Oh. Oh. That is a long staircase. Very long staircase. I walk the lonely road. <laughs> that was PewDiePie, Simon Toast, Ken, and Cry got that in my head. When they sung that on their video, oh my god. I dread to think what's going to be at the end of th these stairs. It is long and winding road. So I don't quite know the reason for the candle and the flashlight. Because the flashlight seems to have infinite batteries. And the candle only has a limited use. Oh, there's a door at the bottom. Okay. And you, oh, you can sprint now. Only a short distance. Okay. But yeah, like I say, very, it's a very creepy game. Good atmosphere. Good graphics. Um, and a good story. I, I, yeah, I would like to know why it did get cancelled. Because he did, he did say in the description that it was at a standstill. It's probably reasons unknown, but of course I, I don't want to know that. But 
very, very, I like the idea of this game. It's got a very unique concept to it, like most of the indie horror games that I've played recently. It's not your average, um, not your average horror game. Oh, can't get the tape. That has to be Oliver. Look at it, there's so many pictures of him right now. He's gonna pop up at the end of the hall, isn't he? No. Okay. Hmm, what's this gonna say? Oh! Leah and Oliver. With red eyes. Okay. Whoa. Oh god. I was getting creeped out for a second there. Okay, what's this say? <clears throat> now we can play together forever. Whoa. Okay. That was very, very creepy. Very unique story as well. Not a lot of horror games have taken that turn. Well, the twist at the end, some have, yeah, I know that, but I mean, the whole concept of the story is very good. So yeah, this has been Ryan Saw playing Leah. Um, I'm guessing I was playing as Leah. That was my guess anyway, because of course the game's called Leah, and Oliver kept popping up, and only Leah could see Oliver. But that was a very, very good game. Um, I really do... Developer, if you're watching me, you could continue this and try and make more of it. I mean, there, I didn't see any bugs there. I, they were, the game worked fine for me. Uh, the, the game was very good. The atmosphere was brilliant. The sound, really good. Uh, I mean, the, the monster could have been a bit um, more active. But, to be honest, him not being active actually made it more creepy because he didn't know if he was actually going to attack you or not and it wasn't even a monster it was a ghost it was oliver or was it mm. anyway so yeah leave a like if you enjoyed this episode guys uh really means a lot to me if you do uh comment down below if you think this was a very creepy game uh, of course and subscribe to become a mini source today uh i do daily content monday wednesdays and fridays um, and also Tuesdays and Thursdays with vlogs. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching, everybody. Really do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. See you later. I need to find more notes. I've only got one so far, and that is a swirling vortex of doom. Okay, hey. Your face has changed, dude. God damn it. Alright, let's try it one more time. He was aggressive and I only had one note. And that is a huge... That is going to take...